Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Rich Media. In this video we'll be taking a look at my new uh, fiber internet service by AT&T. Uh, I have the one gig service that's 1000 megabits per second down and it's supposed to be uh, the same uh, going, going up for uploads as well. So let's take a look here. You can see this is the, uh, the setup here that I have. Here is the optical cable coming from outside. You can see it kind of like blends right in. It's, it's so thin it, it blends right in. Kind of fits right into the grooves of the uh, paneling. It almost looks like it's not there. Uh, this, this is from my antenna. This is some uh, lights that are up for some plants up there, some fluorescent lights. Uh, here is the the gateway gateway router provided by AT&T and here is the modem. Let's take a look at the uh, the products here. So here we have the AT&T modem. I'm sorry, this is the optical network terminal or ONT as they call it. Uh, there's here you have the um, right here is the the power. Here is the network cable going from this network uh, optical network terminal to the gateway. Um, here is the fiber coming from outside. Uh, here you have it that it, there's power. That there's a connection from the outside. And uh, you're that you're receiving that you're receiving data. Here we have a look at the front of the gateway router. See the AT&T symbol there. Uh, power and battery. Now I don't have a battery in here. This is for uh, battery backup, so that you can uh, if the power goes out, you can probably still be. Um, online for a while, although, or maybe if there's a phone connected, you still get phone service, but I don't have the phone. Um, this tells you that the Ethernet is up and running, that the Wi Fi is up and running. I believe this is for a home alarm system. I don't have phone service. This would be lit up if there was phone, if I had phone service. Uh, there is a USB connection in the back. I don't know if that's working or not. Uh, this is tell you that it's that you have the uh, something connected to the broadband in connection, which is where telling you that the optical network terminal is connected. Uh, this is for another connection, I think for the uh, number two, which would be for DSL. And this is tell you that it's receiving a signal from AT and T, or that your service is up and running. This is the back of the terminal. Here you can see you can connect phone lines one and two. This is what's going, or this is what's coming in from the uh, network terminal. This is, these are some uh, LAN ports or network ports going out to my different devices. This goes upstairs. Um, I don't know why these are all like they, they should be all the same color but I am re receiving the same data throughput on all of these even though they're they're different color here you see the USB it's a USB 3.0 and here would be if uh, this is I guess uh, broadband one this would be broadband two you see it's for DSL this one's for for fiber and that about does it for a look at the equipment. Uh, let's go ahead and do a speed test. So you get two milliseconds as a, um, a ping, which is very, very good. With Comcast, I was getting somewhere between 
10 and 15 milliseconds. So this would be great for gaming. You can see I got uh, 911, uh, 912 uh, megabits per second down. So that's pretty close. That's about what they promised. They promised between 500 and about 950, I think, some, somewhere around that. And 960 up. So you can see it's the same, both. So this is great for uploading videos. This is great for downloading uh, movies. You can do it like in a split second. Uploading, I uploaded a video previously using this and it uploaded like with uh, uploading a YouTube video to YouTube and it like took a second. And you know, you can download HD 4K movies, stream HD 4K movies uh, from Netflix or whatever you use for streaming and downloading um, very quickly within a uh, few seconds to a couple minutes. Um, I mean, there are larger files that take longer, but um, I'm very, very happy with this service. Uh, I'm going to keep it over Comcast. Um, it is a much, it is much uh, cheaper and much more reliable to me than Comcast. Um, of course, that's my opinion. Um, I was happy when I did have Comcast, um, but this was just a much better, much better deal. I got. Uh, we can go. Online to AT and T. Uh, AT and T. I believe I got the um, like I said, the one gig. And I got it for I don't know. 80, 80 bucks. Uh, ninety ninety dollars I think. Let's see if they show it here. They did. Uh, let's. Oh, plans and pricing. Okay. By the way, as you know, I do these in real time. Um, and since we're waiting for this to load, uh, don't forget to. If you're not a, if you're not subscribed already, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Give me a like if you like it. Yeah, or a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, feel free to comment. Share this video and uh, hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. So let's see if we can go into the plans here. Here we go. Uh, this is this a fiber plan? Yes, it is. So you have the uh, th this is fiber. So internet 100 megabyte megabits would be fifty dollars for the first twelve months, and after that. It goes at month 13 plus up to 60 bucks. Not too bad at all. Um, internet 300, 70, and then it goes up to 80. And with these you two, you have a data cap of one terabyte, which for most people that would be okay. For me, it, it wasn't. I had that data cap with uh, my other service provider. I hope I don't get... Um, with, with Comcast, I had a um, data data cap. Again, Comcast was was very good. Um, but I just prefer AT and T much better so far. So uh, the upload speeds would be anywhere from eighty to one hundred, and from this plan one hundred fifty to three hundred. Uh, same with the download. And upload speeds. Um, oh, and installation costs are one hundred dollars. However, if you go to the three hundred and uh, gig plan, there are no you don't get charged for installation. Installation would include running the line from the pole or from the ground or from the terminal to to a, a terminal that they put outside where they where they where they do the splicing and bring it inside your home and set up the equipment for you. So, and here you see with um, the internet 1000 they call it, which is the gigabit plan, there is no 
uh, data cap. And yes, 500 to 940 upload, 500 to 940, or 500 to 940 download, 500 to 940 um, upload is what, what they promise within that range. And they do have um, other plans. These are uh, DSL plans. I mean, this is an option, but you see there. Uh, yeah, you see for the price, I mean, for what you get, it's more expensive. Although $50, $50 for 100 megabits, and but you're only getting the download. Let's see, download speeds 80 to 100. Upload speeds, you see, there you go. 12 to see that you, you see the difference between a DSL and the fiber. So there you have it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, and I'll be, I'll, I'll put a link to this page. Uh, in the description below just in case you uh, want to get the uh, internet service with AT&T I don't get nothing from it um, you know I'm not an affiliate with them or not yet anyway um, and I'm gonna put uh, a link to some uh, routers that you could probably use in conjunction with that some access points are some uh, Wi-Fi extenders that you can use. Uh, you don't have to use the ones that uh, AT&T recommends. You can use others. Uh, although I don't think yeah, I think you do have to use their gateway and and, well, and they and they include that in the price. So uh, it's not something that you pay extra for like some of the other uh, broadband internet companies. So there you have it, folks. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and um, hit that bell for future notifications of other videos. Thank you all.